Now she's going to say what I've been saying from a long time ago. Why when a black person tries to do something for his or her people, why do you include Latinos? It's always black and Latinos. Even rapper Killer Mike said he made a digital banking system for black and Latinos. Black politicians, you're always saying black and Latinos or black and brown. But when they do something for their people, they do not include you at all. I've noticed something that a lot of Latinos are not going to like. Why is it that when black people start communities to help founders or VC firms that are focused to help black founders, they always include us. It is always black and Hispanic or black and Latino or black and brown. Literally every single community accelerator program VC firm that I know that was built with the intention of supporting more black founders is built inclusive. Yet when Latinos build something, it is always for the Latinos only. This is for Latinos. It's never Latinos and black people. It's never Latinos and other systemically marginalized. It's never Latinos and other immigrants. It's always Latinos, Latinas. And I will tell you the number one thing you need in your life to be successful in anything is abundance. But the abundance mindset is something that seems to be really difficult to achieve for Latinos in the United States. There's constantly the scarcity, limited belief that is us, 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 just us, us, us. And then we cry that no one ever supports us. The call is coming from inside the house. And let's not forget that oftentimes Latinos will be the worst enemy for another Latino, so, but that's a whole other topic. But I'm just so frustrated to see even more Latino-focused communities pop up that are only for Latinos. Because not being inclusive hurts you guys more than anyone else, ultimately. And when you see communities that do that, the us, us, us mindset, they try to rebrand it as empowering. I want you to pay attention to one thing, because that will tell you everything. Are those communities, those firms, those programs actually doing anything to move the needle for its members? Or are they actually monetizing off of the desperation of Latinos that are looking for support and community?